Sports is still to come, but when we come back, we've got a special treat for you. Yes, we do. We're going to tell you all about an Albemarle County young man who got to go on the Today Show with Katie Couric. Mm -hmm. He wants to be an anchor man, and he's going to get his chance live on the set with us this morning when we come back. We'll also have his story. Well, a lot of kids have no clue what they want to be when they grow up. That's right. I wanted to be like an astronaut, a teacher, a pastor, you name it, I wanted to be it. Everything. Broadcaster, huh? even. Yeah, Go I figure. Wanted be, I wanted to be a gorilla. I always wanted to be a gorilla. <laughs> and Lonnie Quinn failed. That's yeah. a good but one. <laughs> there's one nine year old Albemarle County kid who already knows for sure what he wants to do, and he's out to take our jobs, I'm afraid. I know. I better hmm. watch out. He's I'm, pretty good. You know what? Talk about poise, talk about presence, and I am not talking about Nordia Higgins. Can you believe this? There's a little fella out there I spent the day with yesterday. Let's take a peek at his story. Third graders have your typical dreams. I want to be a pro baseball player. I want to be a nurse. A police officer. A news anchor man. I want to... Wait, wait a minute. Did that kid say news? I think it would just be really cool to, like, be able to sit on that, like, set and, like, be on TV and maybe be famous, sort of. Nine-year-old Sean Cudahy does a pretend newscast from his bedroom every night. But come on, does he have any real credentials? And I got to sit next to Katie Kirk on the couch in the Today Show studio and did the news, the Today Show with her. Folks, he ain't kidding. I'm all set up. He has his little IFB in his ear and his mic on, and he's a nice young man. Hey, we've got all those things, too. Let's just see what the kid can do for our airwaves. Hello, I'm Sean Cudahy. The king is back, and he's eating at a fast food restaurant near you. Folks in Spotsylvania say they spotted Elvis Presley at an ice cream parlor last Monday. He was seen later in the day eating pickles behind a Fredericksburg Burger King. There's no word on where the king will pop up next. This kid is gold. He's good, he's got great hair, and he'll probably work for hamburgers. When can we sign him up? He is so cute. Go to news, Sean. Stay out of the weather, please. If he wants to work here, my door is open, but my job isn't. So who knows? You could be looking at the future of broadcasting. Heck, he'll probably have my job. In Charlottesville, Sean Cudahy, Dateline 29 News. Hmm. <laughs> I got to tell you. Hey, you, you know what? I spent the day with Sean, as you just saw yesterday. Sean, I got a question for you. I don't want to put anyone on the spot here, but Sean, I know that you get up every morning to watch uh, the Sunrise Newscast. Yep. You know everybody at NBC 29. Who is your favorite personality? Come on, come on. You can tell us. Don't. Sure, maybe you. Maybe me. Oh, Lonnie Quinn. Wow. Good choice. Yeah. Wait, but, but we're all close second, right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, Sean is already an accomplished broadcaster. He does that broadcast every night in his room, but we're going to put him on the spot live on TV here. That's He's right. going to broadcast mm -hmm. with us. So, uh, Sean, take it away for us, all right? Coming up right after the break, Gary Cope will give us the latest sports news. Find out how the Virginia basketball team did. Also, we'll tell you who got the pole f position for this Sunday's NASCAR race. Oh, man. That was pretty good. Wow. That was fantastic. Good wow, are you kidding me? <laughs> Watch out. He's better than me. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sean, Our you, you... jobs are in jeopardy, I would say. Mm. You are much further ahead than me than I was at nine years old, I gotta I say. say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us Thanks here this morning. Us. Thank you. Well, there you have it. We know let's take one little uh, uh, speech, shall we say, about the weather. Folks, expect a 30% chance for a shower at, there we are, a 30% chance for a shower at any point during your day today. Not going to be too, too nice, but come on back for sports.